Casey, thank you so much for being here. You know, I've seen demonstrations and I, I have a friend who's a floral designer and when I see these, I think, oh, they're just so beautiful, but you know, they just look so complicated to the rest of us. So you've come up with some tips and techniques that really do simplify flower arranging. We have, and this one's called Bundle in Place, and uh, sometimes we find when we are going to use a low container, which are very popular, either the cylinder style or the cube like this, that if you cut your flowers so low and you're trying to arrange them, the heavier heads will just flip Block. right out mm -hmm. of the container, and it can be really frustrating. Mm -hmm. So by taking a set of flowers and bundling it together with these tiny little clear like uh, elastic holders. They are. You <laughs> are get them they? at the beauty supply store. Uh -huh. You can get 250 in a pack for about 99 cents, <laughs> and they stretch really quite long. Uh -huh. So you can bundle together probably about eight or ten stems together in a nice little uh, bundle, as uh -huh. you say, uh -huh. and then we will displace them around okay. in our in And our that's container. how this arrangement was made. Yep. These so those are, are actually bundles. Right. So those are four uh -huh. bundles all together, and uh, you can't even tell. You just bundled and. Put and them place in there. them. Yep. Okay. And so, um, and by using the clear ones, you wouldn't actually need to hide your stems. Um, but we think it looks mm. more decorative and more finished when you have a well, leaf too. Um, circling the inside of your oh, container. Oh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. right in here. I see. Right. Okay. So and if you if you have that, maybe you didn't have these. You just have regular rubber bands out of your and junk drawer, matter. and then mm -hmm. you'd be hiding them anyway. So it'd be okay to do. Um, but first thing, we have to address our flowers and, uh, and how we need to treat them to go into a container like this or an arrangement. And often, uh, one of the biggest things, you always need to remove the greenery mm -hmm. that's going to go below the water line. Because what happens is the little greenery will start to break down and you get that kind of odd smell mm -hmm. that comes with mm -hmm. that. And it's actually kind called... It rots or it something, does, doesn't and it? And it's called ethylene gas. Oh. And other things that produce ethylene gas are um, pears and apples mm -hmm. and... Which bananas. make them ripen. Right. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. you don't ever want to put your flowers next to ripening fruit. I hadn't thought about that. So and uh -huh. especially, um, especially bananas because mm -hmm. it'll make your, it shortens the life of your flowers. So by removing the greenery that goes below the water line, you're extending the life of the flowers already That's at that point. point. So we know we're going to bundle all these together. So we do have uh, four different flowers we're going to use. This is Alstroemeria. It's also known as Peruvian lily. And uh, you want to buy it when it's really quite uh, tight and fresh because and, they're going to open and the blossoms and usually triple inside. Mm -hmm. There's lots of buds to go on here. And to clean this, very easy, we just slide that greenery right mm. off. Mm -hmm. And that's a very nice flower because it's just full and has a lot going on I at like the end that. of it. Mm -hmm. So that's considered a spray flower. We're going to use mini carnations, which are also very fresh at this point, very closed, and they're going to continue to open. And what we're going to do with this collection is we're going to trim them away from the main stem. And you want to try to get as much length of the stem as possible, not knowing how tall we're going to make our bundles. Oh. So you mm -hmm. don't want to commit too too short. You want to give a you little bit of length. You can cut more on off, there. can't you? <laughs> exactly. And last, or next, we have um, a spray mum, and these are chrysanthemums. Funny, we call them mums in America, and they call them chrysants in England. Chrysants. But um, they have a huge family, long life, and uh, just a beautiful flower. And uh, these are called cushion mums, and they grow also all along the main stem. And they're considered a spray flower because they have mm -hmm. a spray of Multiple. flowers exactly uh -huh. that coming out from the uh, from the end of the stem. So we're going to cut all those off individually too. Hmm. Get those all off there. That's one of, another part of our component. These and then we have a rose. roses. Oh, the name of this variety is Hot Princess. Mm, and just beautiful, and it's opening in a gorgeous way. And uh, another thing, when you want to buy roses, and uh, they're always packaged really tight, and they look uh -huh. tight, what do you want to do, and it's perfectly acceptable to do, you can reach in and just give the base of the bud a little squeeze. And if it's firm and has a little bit of a resistance, which these do, that's a good sign. If you oh. were to smush that thing and your hands went all the way through to the other side, it's, oh. it's going to it's going to explode or or blow out as soon as you unwrap everything. That's so it's good to that. know. So, so squeeze those bases of the squeeze. buds and that's fine and be able to look down and see those layers. Uh -huh. It's important. But this one's just starting to open so nicely. It'll be perfect for our bundle. We don't in strip place. this, I bet, with our no, fingers, do we? No, because then what's going to happen? Often you'll find there are thorns, which that does have right oh, on the back yeah. of the leaf. There are a little bit of thorns here and sometimes in the main part of the stem. Mm -hmm. So the best way to clean our roses is just to trim away, trim away. the leaves and that way it gives you a clean view in in the event that there are any thorns mm -hmm. hiding on the stem it gives you a nice clear view of what might be there okay so once you have all of your flowers cleaned you start to bundle them together so we're going to take our alstroemeria and our mums some of them might be a little bit of a short stem actually we're going to back up a little bit because we're going to do something with our vase first before we start bundling 
So, so do we fill it with water? We first? do. But first thing we're going to do, we're oh, going to we're going to hide oh, our hardware. To my, okay. In the event that we had regular rubber bands and we didn't want to mm -hmm. saying that we were using that, we would use leaves to hide our our stem action. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are called apodestra, and they're really nice because they bend really well. And that's what you're looking for when you're going to lie on the inside of a vase. And uh, these are variegated, so it's got a lovely um, stripe uh -huh. of white, whitish yellow in there. And we're going to trim off the main part of the stem. And to get these into something like this, you might wonder, <laughs> but you're going to massage the back of the spine just a little bit, and then you're going to roll it in around your hand, and then you simply drop it into the vase, and you just move it out, let it sort of explode in the position. Uh -huh. And as you can see, that covers so nicely and hides a little bit. We have a little bit showing here, so we're going to take our other leaf, and this one's a little I like bit younger. All the yellow, yellow on in that, that one. Too, that we'll, makes it really we'll do that one facing up. Maybe we can see a little bit more of that. Uh -huh. So by doing that, again, we really like to finish our arrangements. So this one, you're you're starting off already with a nice finished yeah, got look. Got a good start. Good start. <laughs> and then we need to fill it with water. Oh, then I see. Yes, because you always want to have. Uh, water ready in your containers because when you cut your stems, the stems will seal up in about 10 seconds. Oh! So if you cut your stem and then you're sitting there chatting or forgot oh, to fill the uh -huh. water or forgot to do this, it will have already sealed up after right. 10 seconds and you need to recut it again yeah. to open the You'd flow. You'd have to tear up your whole arrangement. Right, and that's I what see. happens sometimes when stems don't get cut and they just get put in water. They hadn't had time to drink and so they'll mm -hmm. get floppy. I see. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a few of our flowers, our little uh, bundles, and what we want to do is combine our alstro, our um, carnations, pulling in the pink color, and then a little bit of the white ones, our mums. Or croissants. Yep, or croissants. <laughs> <laughs> and what side of the pond you're on. And, a, and oh. your rose, which is just beautiful. And then it gives you this nice little uh -huh. bundle, and you're going to cut off most of the stem, just because you want to get your um, your rubber band around there. Uh -huh. And you don't need to worry about twisting it around too much, just on its own, one set. And they do open nicely. Yep, and they'll open very wide. Huh. And you slide it on up, and you have your first little bundle. And we're going to make three of these. Okay. You want to help me with that? So sure. I'm going to bring you over a set of flowers. There you go. And we're just going to bundle these together. So you want one rose. A collection of spray carnations, some of your mums there. And you want all your heads to be about the same height. Because we left our enough length on our stems that we're going to be able to get these all together. And you can mix them all around or you can color block. That looks great. Doing super. Once you get a few going there, give them a trim. Lost your, your band <laughs> there band. for a minute. That's the tricky thing about having a clear one sometimes. Yeah, you can't see them. Great. Oh, how Wonderful. Pretty. And then uh, I can do one more here real quick. Okay. Pull it together. And so then depending on the container, you may want four, five, six. Yeah, three mm -hmm. sometimes will do it, and it might just because these are so full and, uh -huh. and pretty that three might just do it. But just in case, we'll get one more ready. And uh, I've done this with uh, hydrangea before because it's such a heavy flower and I've grouped it with other flowers and, uh -huh. uh, and I've had a nice long container and just done all these little groups and they didn't, didn't flip out and it was wonderful mm -hmm. for a wedding. So you get to this point and again, might be a little bit on the long side, so you want to come up next to it and we're going to be crisscrossing criss out of the four corners. kind of going at angles, not standing right. straight up. Exactly. I see. So we're going to just give them a trim so we don't have too much going on there and place that right in there, just resting it. And, uh -huh. we're gonna place and if we hadn't have grouped those, some of these heavy ones, like the rose, would have just, just probably fallen, fallen out because the stem out. is just too short and uh -huh. the heads are just too heavy. So go ahead and you're going to trim that one just a little bit off the bottom, give it enough space, and then you want to crisscross it also across. That one it can go right in there. Three might actually do it. Oh, I think we have room for one room. more. Uh -huh. You want to go ahead and trim that one, okay. place it in there. That should do. I had cut that one a little shorter. That's all right. Put that rose out, maybe. Voila. Wonderful. How beautiful is that? Bundle in place. Bundle in place. Well, thank you so much for showing us such a simple way to make a beautiful arrangement. You're thank very welcome. You.